guys. Okay, so I would love to welcome you guys to the last um, summer agronomy webinar that we're having. Um, so today we are focusing on beyond the farm. Um, I am Grace Lee. I'm the Regional 4-H Agronomy and Horticulture Summer Intern this year. I'm so excited to be walking you guys through different um, agricultural byproducts. It's going to be so much fun. We'll be able to go over all the different crops that we produce and what those crops eventually turn into beyond the farm. So I hope you've been joining us for our previous agronomy and horticulture Zoom experiences, including organic farming and last week's ag technology. Um, today's uh, session will connect right in with our previous experiences. So I just wanna let you know that both your mic and cameras are off. And if you have any questions during the presentation, feel free to put them in the chat. Um, different staff will be monitoring the ch chat and will collect your questions. Just remember this webinar is recorded, so please be appropriate and respectful. Thank you. So next we will be starting with um, our 4-H pledge. So I will lead you guys. So if you could join me. I pledge my head to clearer thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, my health to better living, for my family, my club, my community, my country and my world. Thank you for joining me. All right, and today we're going to go beyond the farm and we'll be talking about agricultural byproducts. So my first question is, does anybody know what a byproduct is? If you want to insert it in the chat, that would be awesome. Um, otherwise, you can just brainstorm, see what you think. I'll wait a little bit. Grace, we have gum in the chat. Gum, okay, that's definitely an example of a byproduct we'll be covering later, yeah. Alrighty, well. So a byproduct, also known as a secondary product, is something that is made during the production or manufacture of something else. Some examples would include food, clothing, medicine, glue, silks, soap, and so much more. Now we'll go over some examples of different agricultural byproducts. So first we're gonna go over corn. Now the list you see here is just a small fraction of the byproducts that, go, that corn can produce. Um, there are many byproducts made from corn. The most obvious on the list is popcorn. Lots of us eat it. We kind of figure it's from corn, of course. There are also many other products such as corn flour, corn meal, and corn flakes. These are all products that we ingest regularly. Many of the products we use daily are made from cornstarch, including crayons, paper, deodorant, batteries, and diapers. Much of our food is made from corn syrup as well, such as candies we eat, like somebody said before, gum included in that. And also surprisingly, yogurt. Now you would think that yogurt is the main byproduct from dairy, but what you don't realize is that the corn syrup is put in the yogurt to make it that sweeter flavor. Other products that are made include many daily uh, items such as toothpaste, cosmetic shampoos, and so much more. The next crop we'll be going over is wheat byproducts. So many of the byproducts made from wheat are something that we eat or that we use in our baking. So flour is one of the main important byproducts, which allows us to make many desserts and treats and lots of different stuff. Um, other foods made from wheat include bread, crackers, cereals. If you look on the back of any of your cereal boxes, you are bound to find wheat in one of the ingredients. The next product is soybeans. So many find it difficult to name off soybean byproducts. However, there are numerous products we eat and use that are made from soybeans. Those include different cooking oils, um, soy milk and protein, as well as tofu. Tofu is used as sometimes a meat replacement for many vegetarians and vegans. So rather than them eating chicken or beef, a lot of times they'll substitute it with tofu because the soybeans provide the protein that equals out the meat. 
Um, some of our major products include feed for animals, biodiesel fuel for diesel trucks, as well as candles. And a lot of your candles in the wax goes lots of soybeans. Next is oats. So some products that are made from oats include the most widely known as oatmeal, <laughs> pretty common, um, as well as different foods such as pasta and biscuits and breads. And then also your granola that you either put in your yogurt or the granola bars and then also oat milk. Um, another very common product made from oats is also animal feed, often fed to say horses or cows. So uh, lots of different, also you'll see that a lot of these products you can make in milk, whether that's soy milk or oat milk. So there's lots of different things that you can do with all of these crops. Um, some other byproducts that are made can include um, cotton, which is um, what we use to make our clothes, as well as other foods such as rice, sugar, and chocolate made from cocoa beans. There are so many options. Um, if you guys can think of any other agricultural byproduct, you can put that in the chat and see what you guys can come up with. I know somebody already came up with gum, and that's very good. That is a byproduct. And you guys can also include different animal byproducts or just crop byproducts. It's completely up to you. You can just put them in the chat. Grace, in the chat we have paper um, as a byproduct. I think that's very, very good because we, you know, we don't think of trees as part of agronomy, but there are actually farms out in Wisconsin and out west that grow trees like we grow corn here in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. That's that's really that's correct, Ryan. Yep, trees are obviously very important for us here. <laughs> Also in the chat, we have cows. Um, cows aren't a product themselves, they're a commodity. So try to think of what products do cows produce? Yeah, if you guys wanna start naming off animal products, that'd be awesome. Anything that has to do with agriculture is just completely welcomed in this chat. <laughs> There's a couple, Grace, that listed footballs and marshmallows. Footballs and marshmallows, yes. So as I was doing some research, obviously footballs, the other nickname, pigskin, is often made from the hides of pigs. Yep, that is correct. And then what was the other one, Brian? Marshmallows. Marshmallows. So what is in marshmallows is also known as gelatin. And that is often made from different animals' hooves. Like I can think of horses, their hooves are made for gelatin. So that's what you find in either jello or marshmallow or just a bunch of different other products. You guys are coming up with some really good ones here. Anybody think of a couple more that we can list off that I haven't already said? Okay, well, if there's none other, we can probably move on. So I hope, I didn't mention this earlier, I hope you guys have another device, whether that's kind of an iPad or a smartphone or another laptop, because I did set up a Kahoot for you. You can participate in it or not. It's completely up to you. Otherwise, you can just watch. So I will get that set up. And I'll also have you guys listen to the fun jingle that goes along with it. So 
So whether you are just attending or you also are staff, you can play this if you want to. And just remember to keep your nicknames user appropriate, please. Project is made for bamboo. It's so oh, yeah, bamboo is definitely in a different region than us, oftentimes in Asia. Um, that's also something really interesting that, that you could look into is bamboo. Yeah, that's definitely an agricultural product. Yeah. But a lot of times we forget about it too. And toilet paper, one of the daily items that we receive from agriculture. Definitely. Okay, one more minute, I'll give you guys to join in and then we'll get started. Seeing some cute nicknames here. We've got Bunny and Poodles, that's adorable. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm just gonna get started here if there's any other last minute ones. Otherwise, you can watch and play in your head. That's totally fine too. Alright, so this is a true or false. So, a byproduct is also known as a secondary product, true or false. It is true. Good job, you guys. Yeah, I covered that in one of the first slides. Good job. Jenna is at the top. All right. Which of the following are byproducts of corn? Now keep in mind that there might be multiple, you never know. Yes, so corn starch, corn syrup, and deodorant are all byproducts of corn. I didn't try to trick you too hard on that one, I hope. All right, a little switch up in the scoreboard. All right, next one. Which of the following are byproducts of wheat? <laughs> job for those who answered bread. Alrighty. Next question. Tofu is a byproduct of which crop? This one might be a tougher one. Soybeans, good job. 
for those who answered soybeans. That one was a tougher one, but yes, yeah, soybeans, because they do provide those, that protein replacement that meat provides us for tofu. That is correct. Alrighty. True or false? Granola is a byproduct of oats. True or false? <laughs> In a granola, yeah, that's correct. Alrighty. Next question. Which are the correct byproduct matches? tricked you guys on that one. All of these are byproducts. Yes. Sorry, I got a little sneaky there. All right, which of the following are byproducts of soybeans? <laughs> Above our pro our byproducts of soybeans. Nicely done. All right, good job, everybody. I got true. Chocolate is made from cocoa. True or false? <laughs> this one. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, looking at the scoreboard, Maria, first place. Nicely done. All right, and flour is a byproduct from which crop? Now think about this one. Flour is a byproduct from which crop? Nicely done. Oh, and Maria is still in the lead. Way to go. All right, now this is just a for all. There's no right or wrong answer. Did you guys learn anything new from this lesson or game? To answer honestly, don't worry. There's no right or wrong answers. a lot of yeses that makes me very happy and don't worry this is being recorded so if you ever want to go back to this um presentation you can always access it on the agronomy website all right if you guys have any more questions you can insert it, them into the chat Just any final questions for me, whether they're agricultural byproducts or something more about 4-H or about webinars or how to access these recordings, you can go ahead and just put them in the chat. <laughs>